joy to the world the Lord has come let her receive her King let every heart prepare him room and heaven and nature sing and heaven and nature sing and heaven Hello friends and welcome to One and All Kids and Merry Christmas Weekend. Woo! The time is here to celebrate the birth of Jesus. I am really excited. Me too. I hope you have an amazing time with your family and friends over this Christmas season. But remember that it's all about Jesus. For this week, we're keeping up in our Deck the Halls series learning about Christmas and its true meaning. We have heard about how we can know and understand the meaning behind this season. Our memory verse is from Isaiah 9, 6, which says, For to us a child is born, for to us a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Having that verse memorized helps us to always remember that God's greatest gift is Jesus. Last week, we learned about Jesus being born. This week, we're learning about the shepherds who heard about Jesus' birth. Let's go! Hey, everybody! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! I'm so excited to play some Christmas games! Let's go! So, I think, though, we have a special guest There's as a gift to all of you. Our gift to you is some special guests. So, special multiple guests, come on over. Multiple guests, come over, guests. What? Hey! 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 What's up? <laughs> Pastor Matt. What's up, Matt? What's going down? Hey! Yo, yo, what's up? I think you guys are going down. Oh, okay, wait, you have wrapping paper. She has wrapping paper. Yes, sir. Tyler, what's happening here? 
All right, I think everybody knows what it is because not only do they have wrapping paper, there's wrapping paper in the rooms for all of you. We are playing Wrap Your Leader. So we have special guest Sophia, special guest Pastor Matt. They're gonna be wrapping Josh and Julianne. There is not only wrapping paper, but a myriad of decorations at their feet. They are going to be wrapping you guys to the best of their ability. And our expert panel of 68 judges will be, yeah, they're, they're on all the bleachers behind you. They're going to be judging who is the best wrapped of each of you. Now in your rooms, you guys have supplies. You guys get to wrap your leaders as well. I'm excited for you to participate, but Matt and Sophia, are you guys ready? Oh yeah. Oh yes. All right. Oh, down. All right, Matt. It's a battle. Josh and Julianne, take a step out so that your, your rappers can rap you a little bit. All right. Here we go. We're gonna kick this off in three, two, one, get rapping. Oh. All right, tell me what you want me to do. Hold it. Hold it, hold it. You want my arm inside of this? Yeah. I didn't even get it. There you go. Oh, of course. Look, why are you hunched over? Because I've been attacked. Is that a strategy? I don't know. I feel like that only creates more surface area. Oh, you got it. Yep. I don't believe in you. You didn't know. Sophia actually went to fashion design school, and that's why she's so good at this game. So if you're voting, vote for me and vote for Sophia. Yeah. Okay, done. Matt Chavez has completed his wrapping. We have 30 no, seconds keep going, keep left. <laughs> All right, we got 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, What decorations down. Yes. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, kids in the room, I hope that you guys had an excellent time rapping your leader. We're going to go to our panel of 68 professional yeah. rapping judges to decide who had the best rapping. In the meantime, Matt and Sophia, I would like you to make uh, your most hilarious facial expressions in order to sway the judges while we decide. Ooh. All right, the time has come. Our panel of 68 professional judges have decided with 17 abstaining from the vote. Oh, oh. Yes, oh, they, they could not yeah. decide. Uh, yeah, well, actually two of them had to go home and make cookies for Christmas, but the rest of them could not decide. Uh, the uh, 51 remaining judges came to a consensus that Matt Chavez is the winner! Yeah! 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 Good job, Doc. All right, feel free. Congratulations. Yes! Oh, I can't even speak. Oh, there you are. All right, everybody. We hope you enjoy the rest of our Christmas services. Well, have a wonderful Christmas weekend, and we will see you next week. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. everyone, I'm Pastor Yesenia, and we are continuing our Deck the Hall series, where we are learning about the true Christmas story. This week is also Christmas! Merry Christmas! Woo! And I hope that you're having a wonderful time with your family and friends, celebrating Jesus being born. Last week, we learned about the day when Jesus was born to the world. This week, we are learning about others who came to worship Jesus. This week, our bottom line is... God's love is for everyone. This month, we've seen how God brought Jesus to the world. He had a plan that the prophets wrote about mm, 700 years ago, maybe a little longer, before Jesus was born. God sent an angel to Mary to tell her that she would be giving birth to Jesus. And then the day finally arrived when Jesus was born into the world. Now, Christmas is here for us, and we celebrate that Jesus was born into the world. But Jesus wasn't just born for Mary and Joseph. He wasn't just born for the Israelites, 
Jesus was born for the whole world. That's right, you, you, and you, and you, and me. Mary and Joseph may not have understood that yet, but God did. And God wanted others to know that Jesus was born because God's love is for everyone. While Mary and Joseph were in awe over their new baby boy, Jesus, there were some shepherds in the fields nearby watching their sheep. This was a pretty normal scene. Shepherds would keep watch over their flocks during the day and at night. But then something not so normal happened. Luke 2, 8 through 15 says, And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. Can you imagine what this must have been like? This quiet night was invaded with this beautiful sound of angels singing and declaring the good news. How could the shepherds help but react to what they were seeing? This is a huge difference to their daily routine. They understood that these angels were spreading great news. They were getting the chance to go and meet the Messiah that God had promised so long ago. God didn't decide to announce the news of Jesus' birth to the famous and rich people of the time. He decided to announce it to some shepherds, some normal people with normal jobs. God's love is for everyone. I have someone here who can tell us about this, so let's go hear from them. Hey everybody, my name is Julianne and I'm here with another arts and crafts lesson. God is an amazing creator and artist, and he made us to be creators and artists just like him, all in different ways. You might like pottery, you might like decorating a bulletin board, you might like painting with chalk paint on your sidewalk, but what I like is all of this, and that's what we're going to talk about today, because God's love is for everyone. See, I am the creator of all of these things. We made this kaleidoscope a while ago. We made some bracelets a really long time ago. We made some collages. We made some poetry. We drew some pictures. Lots and lots of things. And every one of these projects is different. But I love every single one of them because I made them. And I designed them on purpose. And most of these were for the purpose of sharing with you about God's love and God's glory and God's plan for our lives. So I have a special place in my heart for every single one of these projects. And you know what? That's just like how God has a special place in his heart for every single one of us. Even though he created us, totally different, different. Colors, shapes, sizes, interests, where you live, what parents you have, what pets you have. Oh my gosh, favorite colors, favorite foods. God picked out every single detail of every single one of your lives because he made you on purpose to be different than the person next to you for a different purpose than the person next to you. But he loves every single one of us. And that's what I love about this Christmas season is that we get reminded that God's love is for everyone. He sent his son, not just for you, not just for your neighbor, not just for your mom, he sent his son to show his love for every single person. So when we look at little baby Jesus in the manger and all those like little nativity scenes, and the Christmas trees and the stockings and all the cool stuff, we get to remember that God has a specific kind of love for every single person. So think about how he made you and think about how the fact that he designed you like that is because he loves you and he's gonna come after you. He's gonna reveal himself to you 
in a way that is specific to the way he's designed you. So keep an eye out for the ways that God has loved you because God's love is for everyone. God's love is for everyone. One more time in case you didn't hear it. God's love is for everyone. The shepherds were some of the first people to get to see Jesus after he was born. And they were so excited that they told everyone who would listen. All who heard it were amazed. These shepherds probably weren't first on many people's lists for sharing the good news, but God knew what he was doing. These guys were so excited that they couldn't wait to share about what had happened. This is how we should be too. We have the greatest news that ever existed and we should want to share it. Jesus is amazing and his love is for everyone. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for your good news, for your son, for sending your son down to die on the cross for us, that we get to now celebrate his birth on this day, on this week, in this month. We thank you for you giving up your son, Jesus. We thank you for bringing yourself down to be the ultimate sacrifice. Let us have an amazing Christmas time and remember that it's not just about presents or tamales or roast beef, but that it's about acknowledging that you were born and that you came for us and to love everyone. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I love that God sent Jesus for everyone on earth. Jesus is meant to be shared. I love that too. God wanted the whole world to be reunited with him through Jesus. And this is just the beginning of his story. I am so thankful that God's love is for everyone. I wanna say thank you to God all the time for giving us Jesus. One way we can thank him is by giving our offering. When we give our offering money, we're telling God and others that he is the most important thing. And the cool part about offering is that you can offer a lot of things. Most of the time, we give back to God by giving our money, but you can also give back to God by giving your time. This means instead of choosing to be selfish with your time and your things, you might choose to go help other people like Jesus says to do. When we give our offering of time, we show others that they are more important than us. And that's exactly what God tells us to do. You can talk to your parents and leaders about giving your offering today. Now we get to grow together. You might jump into community groups, so you might jump into worship, but either way, we are growing towards Jesus together. Let's go.
Doing things with friends is the very best. I love that we get to learn and worship all together. Next weekend is Pajama Weekend. Get excited! Next weekend, be sure to wear your comfy pajamas as we hang out together and learn more about Jesus. I hope that you have a great week and you join us next time for some more learning. But for now, we will send you into the week with one hope, one life in Christ. Christ. Bye, friends. See you next time.